Welcome back to Up North Hat 4. We have a big art competition coming to Rhinelander mm -hmm. soon. Huge. We have Julie and Jenny. Julie is from the Northern Arts Council. You're the president of Correct. it. And Jenny's with Nicolet College. So, Jenny, let's just talk about the competition first. What's happening at Nicolet? Well, we are in the 37th year of partnering with Northern Arts Council for what we call the Northern National Art Competition. Ooh, tell me a little bit about that. Who could join? Uh, 37. So obviously you guys had some time to grow, of course. Yeah. Uh, it is a national competition, meaning anyone from all the 50 states can enter our competition on our call for entry website. This year we got 356 individual artists to submit over 700 entries. Wow. And the judge whittled it down to 126, but who's counting? <laughs> so who's the judge? Are you part of this judging or no? No. No, you're not. Okay. Uh, the judge for this year was sourced uh, collaboratively with Northern Arts Council. Her name is Deborah Bramer, and she is a, the owner of operator of Portrait Society Gallery in Milwaukee and a uh, faculty at Milwaukee Institute for Art and Design and National Arts Writer. So let's bring you in, Julie. So you're president of the Northern Arts Council. What is that? The Northern Arts Council is a local arts council. It's been around for 50 years, actually more than 50 years now. Robert Gard, who was a professor at the University of Wisconsin, he started something called the Wisconsin Idea and with an endowment, with an endowment from the National Art Endowment. He, was, he wanted to set up rural arts because he believed that rural arts is where the arts belonged, mm -hmm. okay, um, and that the cities didn't have the the only place where you could have arts. So what he did was he set up five cities around the state, mm -hmm. and Rhinelander is the only one that's left out of the original five starting in 1968. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah. What do you think has kept it going here in Rhinelander? Well, I am convinced that the fiscal responsibility of our group is part of it. Mm -hmm. And then we also have memberships. And memberships are what keeps our grants um, viable. We have, since 2011, when I became president, given away almost $200,000 of grants for around the area. Um, we've also have some special projects that we've done and special projects are things like it, at Art Start, there's a panel that has the Northern Arts Council on it. We paid for the flooring in one of the galleries. The hodeg outside the library, that glass one, mm -hmm. we bought that for the library. And then we've also done some things for the schools, um, kilns and um, pottery wheels and things yeah. like that. So we need members. And if you would like to join the Northern Arts Council, you can go to our website, which is NAC, Northern Arts Council, NAC, Wisconsin, WI, dot org. Okay. And there is a... Um, It'll, on Facebook, we are also on, and so if you'd like to join us, you can. Um, we sent out our membership mailing just a little while ago. So. Mm -hmm. well, let's wow. take a break. Very cool. We're going to come back right after the break. We'll talk more about the competition coming. Let's do it. See you soon. Sorry, good. Talking about the 37th annual Northern National Art Competition. It's coming to Nicolet College. So, Jenny, you talked about the judge a little bit. We have a picture of here. Mm -hmm. So, this is kind of special to have her looking at this competition, right? It is. Uh, every year the group picks a prestigious judge and this year is no different. We have Deborah Bramer coming up from Milwaukee. Uh, she's a writer for Hyperallergic, which is a worldwide arts publication. Uh, she's also faculty from Milwaukee Art and Design Institute and has her own gallery, a contemporary art gallery. And so for upcoming artists, uh, what you know, what motivation, what type of advice would you guys give them to maybe join a competition like this, you know? Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> I think that's the, the key takeaway, if, if anyone could take that away, would be to just do it. So many artists lack the confidence and they, sh they should not listen to that voice in their head. And so we have artists from all over the country. We can take a look at a, a graphic we do, here. We Tell do. us about that. From uh, about 30 states, we have 126 entries. Um, there's a lot you can see within our region, mm -hmm. um, but we go from San Diego up to Connecticut and everywhere in between. Uh, and the local artists get to compete alongside of national artists. And it just speaks to the talent that we have in our area, as well as the, the, the gallery can host from 
artists across the nation. So what type of art are you guys looking for? Is there anything specific or just anything? Mm. Uh, there are some requirements. It needs okay. to be two-dimensional and hangable. Um, and that's in our call for art, which you can uh, find when we put that call out mm. every year. No size, uh, right? Uh, no yeah, size, we, I mean. we opened it up. And oh, yeah, uh, that cool. kind of challenged us a little bit this <laughs> year. But you'll have to come out to the gallery to see what we're talking about. It's Sounds open like until July 26th. Yep, so it starts this Thursday, goes mm -hmm. to the 26th. Julie, we kind of left you out of this segment. I think this one to add. It could be about anything, really. <laughs> no, that's okay. Motivational words. <laughs> uh, well, how about um, join the Northern Arts Council? We need the more members we get, the more money we can give. Absolutely. Thank you, Jenny. Like Thank fun. you, Julie. Thank, Thank you very you. much, ladies. All right, we'll be right back after the break.